This is the raindrop design of my new BYD seal brake lights. I just collected this gorgeous beauty and have been driving it for the last one week. This new electric car from BYD has so many features, I'm discovering new ones every day. And this is the most impressive feature to me. It's 5am in the morning and the car has been charging overnight and I was checking the charging status. As I walk towards my seal with my key, without pressing anything, my seal knows I'm coming and light up its courtesy light and turn on the instrument panel to show me the charging status. I don't have to do anything. It's as if my seal knows what I want. This is so brilliant. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. This BYD SEAL is my first electric car and also my first luxury car. Can I say that? I'm spoiled with all its luxurious features such as automatic motorized trunk, courtesy lights underneath the door and side mirrors, and the interior ambient lighting. This car is like driving a Mercedes. I love every part of it. As a technical designer myself, I can appreciate the thoughts put in by the designers of this car. For example, this center console has been so thoughtfully positioned. When I'm relaxing and cruising along with my drive, my left hand naturally falls in place onto this position. And there is a gentle groove for my fingers to grip on. And the best part is, my thumb lands right on the slider for me to adjust my driving mode. This is so thoughtful. And sliding upwards, I can toggle my automatic vehicle brake hold, blind spot detection warning and so on. And as for my wife sitting on the passenger side, it's the same. She can easily control the air conditioning and the audio volume. It's very smart of BYD designers to place the volume control here for the passenger so we don't need to hunt for it in the touch screen. For me as the driver, I have my volume control on the steering wheel. I'm so glad I got the dynamic base model because this center console is a lot less cluttered compared to the high-end performance model where there are a lot of carbon fiber design on the background. I find that is too distracting. What do you think? Comment down below. The other thing I want to show all of you is the interior lighting. It's so beautiful, especially when I have my jazz music on. Apart from the LED color light strips along the door, front passenger and driver dashboards, the lights are also outlining the hourglass shape of the center console. Have I mentioned I really like this center console? These light strips are not only for aesthetic, it serves a functional purpose too. When the rear passenger opens the rear door and there is oncoming traffic, this light strip will flash red, signaling there is danger. This car is so smart. Back to the ambient lights. There are also lights at our foot area, underneath the center console where we have a large compartment to put things, and have a look at the reading lights. It's so subtle yet bright. Because the entire roof is glass roof, they have designed the rear passenger lights to come from the side to avoid distractions to the driver. My daughter can switch on her reading lights at the rear seats without distracting me from driving. And the vanity mirror lights? It's, whoa, so premium. Even the boot is well lit with two bright lights coming from the center. Have I mentioned the courtesy lights when we open our doors and underneath the side mirrors? Apart from the long wait, collecting and meeting my new BYD seal was quite a pleasant experience. If you are choosing the color of your BYD seal, consider getting this Atlantis gray color. This gray is actually blue. It has a very unique subtle blue shine somehow hidden underneath the grey paint. I like the fact that it looks so low-key and dull when it's dark. And when bright light or sunlight hits it, the entire car shimmers in blue ray. 
I think this Atlantis Grey looks the nicest amongst all the black and the typical blue colour we see. In terms of exterior, I'm glad BYD removed away the raindrop design on this rear window. It's just a black plastic with indent now. Nice and simple. And underneath the doors, they have this subtle spotty design which a lot of videos mentioned. I'll run my fingers through the indent so you can actually see it and feel it better. Oh, and together with my seal, BYD also gave me this portable EV charger with Australian wall socket plug. I've been using this charger charging my seal overnight for two nights already to charge my seal from 57 to 100%. The cable's regulator box has the BYD brand on it. It runs warm, but I can feel it's built with good quality material and should last many years to come. This is how I've temporarily set it up to charge my seal. I've bought a cable holder, so I'm going to mount this cable onto the wall this weekend. And this is the vehicle to load cable for me to power my fridge in case of power failure. I haven't tested this one out yet. And then there is this box of free gift. The free gift has a car wash soap, leather polish and glass cleaner spray. With the sunshade, it folds into a butterfly shape when it's not in use. And it's pretty good quality and it blocks out quite a lot of light in a sunny day. There is these inserts all around the frame for us to insert into the roof of the car. I had to practice a few times before I get the hang of how to fold it back into the butterfly shape. I'm quite happy BYD provided this shade with the purchase of my seal. This shade is pretty good and functional as I put it through the test of this Australia desert weather. You are now looking at the sun coming through the sunshade. It's just a tiny bit seeping through, so this shade is doing its job pretty well. I'm also very happy with the infotainment system as it is very smooth and responsive. Wireless Android Auto runs battery smooth without any lag. Just like me plugging my phone to my old Civic to run Android Auto, with the only difference being Google Map is so huge because of the 15.5 inch screen. There are so much to like and so much to show all of you and this video is getting a bit too long. Tell me in the comments below which specific features you would like me to show next time and thumbs up on the comments you like to see so I know a lot of you want to see that particular topic. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you in the next video.